ओके जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर लेसन सॉरी फॉर द डिले इन अपलोडिंग द वीडियो बिकॉज इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू अपलोड द वीडियो सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ द सेकेंड लेसन द सेकेंड चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर फिजिकल एजुकेशन क्लास इलेवन सिलेबस सी बी एस ई एंड द चैप्टर इन हैंड इज ओलम्पिक मूवमेंट सो एज यू नो after every 4 years we have the olympic games and how did it all start it started since ancient times and this olympic movement is the place where uh, many games are involved right from swimming to boxing uh, to marathons uh, to 100 meter races and many more so you must know some of the olympic uh, winners Uh, even our country has uh, many olympic winners like uh, pv sindhu yeah so now let's see olympic movement was established by pierre de coubertin he was a french man and he wanted to revive the games to build a peaceful and better world by educating uh, the youth through sports he wanted to spread olympic spirit all over the world this is the spirit of mutual understanding and spirit of friendship solidarity and fair play ancient olympic games before 1986 so now uh, you can see that olympic games was meant to increase to increase peace and cooperation because Uh, it increases the bond of friendship because people when they play together they become friends now ancient olympic games before 1896 ancient olympic games was first recorded in 776 bc right from those times and it was uh, celebrated like a festival okay now about the ancient summer games according to the greek legend the great hercules so the great hercules is uh, one of the founder of the summer games so he is said to be a demigod also and in a myth it is said that Zeus himself had originated the festival to celebrate his victory against Cronus another god and Zeus is also one of the gods in Greek myth- mythology and this is how it all started the winner of the games was crowned with wreaths from olive trees there is a wreath a kind of a crown made from olive trees and the winner was given that during those times and the games were never suspended and it was held even during persian war so during the games time even if there is war they would continue with their games okay so they were very serious about their olympic games you can see uh, the ancient olympic stadium this is where uh, they they enjoyed the olympic festival and uh, so the games held in 364 bc were not considered as summer games in 338 bc philip ii of macedon and his son alexander took the greek city they erected the philippian uh, a family memorial in the sanctuary philip and alexander held political meeting at olympia during each olympia in 146 bc the romans gained control of greece and the summer games so the administration was then handed over to the romans in 85 bc sulla the roman general plundered the sanctuary to finance his campaign against mithridates sulla was moved also moved the 175th olympiad to rome in 80 bc 
the ancient summer games lasted for uh, 1170 years my god so it has lasted for 1000 hmm, 1170 years 1170 years old christian byzantine emperor theodosius one ordered a banning of the ancient olympic games in 319 93 ad so till then the summer olympics was held but finally it was banned by this emperor byzantine now the venue of the ancient olympic games so olympic was the venue the place it was the ancient city of olympia which was situated in western part of peloponnes peloponnesos according to greek mythology peloponnes is the island of pelops in the 10th century olympia was the meeting place for worship other and other religious and political practices so it was a city and this uh, it was a city of worship and it was a city of sports the majestic temple of zeus dominated the central part of olympia zeus the greek god and uh, with the temple of hara parallel to it the ancient stadium in olympia had a capacity of 40000 spectators so uh, that stadium could uh, 40000 people could spectate could go and watch the games at once so it had a capacity of seating so many people now victory at the olympic games an olympic victory was crowned with olive wreath which i already said you and uh, for another set of pan hellenic games the pythian games at delphi and is name inscribed the official olympic records so this was the honor that was given to those who won in the olympic games and what obviously those athletes who were sponsored uh, if they won for the rest of their life they were considered heroes by their city states and they were given many rewards like uh, in some of the sports in our country also we do that those who win at the national and international level obviously they are given uh, very good uh, jobs in the government central government or state government through the sports quota which i guess some of you are also uh, aspiring for next one let's see participants so potential participants included all greek men uh, barbarians during the classical period by the hellenistic period professional athletes competed married women were not allowed to enter the stadium during the games and might be killed if they tried okay there was a uh, there wasn't equality in those games because women were banned from olympics uh, which is so gender equality equality was not given during the ancient times uh, priestess of demeter was present however but one priestess was there who did worship now uh, what games did the ancient olympics include and they are existing now also many of you in on your sports team must have participated in the events like bo- boxing discus throw equestrian equestrian events javelin jumping pancreation pentathlon running wrestling so these were the events uh, in which and uh, ancient people competed by the 18th olympiad the pentathlon 
Pentathlon was a game which included all these. Broad because name is Penta means five. So broad jump, discus throw, javelin throw, running and wrestling. Now only originally the only event was the race, but uh, the original event of Olympics was racing. As you know about racing, right? 100 meters, 200 meters, 1000 meters. So, racing was the Olymp original game. Now, there are some history makers. Let us see. Ancient Olympics brought many outstanding sportsmen in the limelight. Like we have now also some outstanding sportsmen like Usain Bolt, Mo Farah and many other great runners. Those who have won several medals in the Olympics. So, that time also there were... Uh, like Koreobus won the sole event at the Olympics a run of approximately 192 meters that means 210 yards so in this he was the very first champion in history his name was Koreobus some other great athletes of that period were Melan Komas of Korea as the loss of Croton, Milo of Croton, Milo remember uh, you drink the Milo drink also from Nestle company and uh, that name has been taken from uh, one of the champions of Olympics whose name was Milo, Siniska, Sparta so these are the sporting heroes of those times now modern or summer Olympic games so in the modern times, uh, after 1896, we consider it modern. So, what was the changes? What were the changes? Ancient Olympic Games grew and continued to be played every four years for nearly 1200 years. In 393, remember, it was banned by the Roman Emperor Theodosius. Okay. But again, 1500 years later, Frenchman, a Frenchman whose name was Pierre, he started the Olympic movement and again the games was started. And uh, in 1863, when he was 7 years old, when France was overrun by Germans during Franco-Prussian War, some believe that he attributed the defeat of France not to its military skills but rather to the French soldiers' lack of vigor. And when he was small and when France lost, he said that they did not, they lost because they did not lack in military skill or ammunition but they lacked in physical strength and vigor. So, after examining the education of German, British and American children, Kobertin decided it was exercise more specifically sports that made a well-rounded and vigorous person. And he came to the conclusion that it is sports, games and exercise which makes a person physically strong and more well-rounded <coughs> and strong personality. So, in 1890, he organized and founded a sports organization, Union des Societes Francia des Sports Athletics USFSA in Paris. So, Cobertin stated his idea, views, okay, and then he started the this US. FSA okay and uh, it is the governing body of Olympic Games that is what we need to do we need to know and what and the first Olympic first modern summer Olympic Games was celebrated by the 1896 Athen Athen Games again after 1500 years that was the first time again Olympic Games was held. King George of Greece opened the first modern Olympic Games on a spring afternoon in 1896 and the games were held before a stadium crowd of 65,000 people. So just imagine 
what must have been the atmosphere okay so now you see before uh, the starting of the olympic games we uh, there is a torch bearer who holds the olympic torch which is given on your screen also and it is lit from the altar of good zeus you remember the god uh, one of the gods god of gods he is also known to be the means head of gods zeus and it travels to many countries ultimately to the venue of olympic games or host city and even now it is uh, it is being done okay now what is the olympic motto olympic motto are three latin words okay cts faster alts higher fortius stronger so these these three are the uh, motto of olympics faster higher strongest cts alts fortius now olympic oath so there is an oath also which was written by baron de cobertin and it is taken by the host country athletes because every after every four years there is a host country which organizes olympic event in their in different cities and different stadiums now there is the olympic flag which i hope you must have seen which can, uh, which uh, which consists of the five rings okay blue yellow black green and red and it represents the five continents you know the five continents right blue for europe black for africa red for america yellow for asia green for oceania now the white color of the flag signifies peace serenity and purity and then you can see the visuals of the olympic medals which are on the screen okay in the next portion so these are the olympic medals which are given to the winners and they are described as gold silver and bronze so the winner will get gold second place will get silver and the third one will get bronze which you must also have got on your sports day or will get if you uh, keep your make yourself what was it the lines cts alts fortius faster higher and stronger now the winter olympic games so this was held in france so because winter games were uh, games which requires snow so like uh, skating ice skating right so those are the winter olympic games and uh, it was held in chamonix france and six sports were there ski jump curling ice hockey skating nordic skiing and bobsleigh and 12 other events were also there so uh, mainly the sliding and skiing on the snow such type of events are held during the winter olympic games and they, uh, now there is a list where you can see uh, where which countries have hosted the uh, olympic games and in 2022 beijing china will be also be hosting the olympic games and last time it was hosted by south korea before that russia and the host city names are also given to you let's see so what was the, what was the olympic symbol obviously uh, we have already discussed that portion it the five rings represent the five continents according to their colors now or olympic motto also we have discussed cts alts fortius what were the ideals the important thing in olympic is not to win but to take part the important thing in life is not the triumph but struggle the essential thing is not to have conquered but to for have fought well so this is the main ideal of olympic it doesn't matter if you win or you lose the most important thing is that you have participated and 
essential thing is not to have conquered but to have fought well that whether you gave your best whether you did your best that is the most important thing let's see the objectives so what were the objectives objectives are number 1 fraternity fraternity you know brotherhood between the countries and between athletes from different nations second one is judgment there will no, uh, not be obviously any kind of discrimination or judgment based on caste religion race and others so the, it's a kind of unifying games of the world the olympics then harmonious development it helps to develop healthy habits for the youth healthy habits hygiene character building basically makes people good citizen and personality among the youths because most of the people uh, most of the athletes are very young and uh, it has and they have a very incredible character and sportsmanship because uh, they need to excel physically and mentally in order to even get the chance to participate and they have done lot of they have invested years of hard work really blood sweat and tears to reach that level and also to develop interest towards physical education and sports in all continents so that is why it is very very important so now move on to the next slide it also teaches us friendship okay because friendship is important and it has because of olympic games and the number of nations that participate which is almost most of the nations uh, 250 countries and applying a fundamental humanistic approach to all its actions the olympic games inspire humani- humanity to overcome political economic and all defabricated friendships okay so it helps to develop friendship and fabricate friendship next one is fair play <coughs> so uh, it teaches fair play also because sometimes there might be uh, some athletes who want to take some shortcut to win but uh, olympics is very strict about that and there have been instances now also where uh, athletes are banned after after tests Yeah, and even after they have won medals the, their medals are have been taken away and their award and recognition is are also taken away if they are found to have used some illegal substance to uh, to win in the games so now uh, fair play is very important and uh, they take hundreds of precautions to maintain that so rules and regulations are perfectly met in the olympic games now next is olympic solidarity so what do we mean so generosity cultural exchange cooperation all these are promoted in these games non discrimination which we already spoke about now international Om- olympic community so there is an international olympic committee Uh, which was announced in paris by pierre de coubertin founder in 1892 and what they do is that they decide which country will be hosting the olympic games they choose the host city uh, the organization of the summer olympic games promotion of women in sport okay earlier they were not allowed but now in the olympic games they are promotion of sports pro- protection of athletes athletes are also ensured that they get proper nutrition and proper environmental protection during the games sports is for all they want to promote uh, promotion of sustainable development and development th- through sport which we already discussed the quality of life 
promotion of culture and olympic education and cooperation between people now indian olympic association so sir dorab ji tata towards the end of 1919 first sowed the seeds for establishing sports body at national level for promoting olympic sports so in our country also there is Uh, there are various infrastructure and organization which take athletes to the olympic level and which was started by sir dorab ji tata and with the support of dr e g noren the director of ymc established indian olympic association in 1927 much later than olympics movement started but still sir dorab ji tata and dr noren became the founder president and secretary general of indian olympic association okay and they were responsible for indians contingent participation in olympic games so it is a matter of pride to get our country also represented in the olympic games and it all started thanks to these wonderful gentlemen dorab ji tata and dr a g noren and each all and what the the ioa indian olympic association which is the apex sport organization in india okay they ensure participation in olympic games in commonwealth games so another uh, sporting event is there all uh, the commonwealth games asian games and which mostly include outdoor indoor beach and south east and south asia games so for these gaming events ioa is responsible for uh, training and for selecting the athletes the selection of national team is done by national federation and then recommended to ioa for participation in various recognized international competitions such as asian games olympic games commonwealth games world cup world championship asian championship etc so athletes and students if you all are also interested so this is the way to go about it you need to win first at the local level district level from there you will proceed to the uh, state level and after that the national federation will select you if you are the winner for the national and internet and then they will recommend your name to the ioa after which you can take part in international events okay so a special feature of indian olympic association is that the national federation and state olympic are affiliated and recognized so just like <clears throat> cbsc board so they are also uh, they need to ensure that they are affiliated and recognized the main task of state olympic association is to promote olympic sport and the sports state sports association most important task in addition to sponsoring the national teams is also staging the national games so they need to first select part uh, train them see that they are getting everything and they also need to host those national events now so who uh, who are there in the ioa there is a president there is a vice president there are nine vice presidents then we have joint secretaries then we have secretary general then we have one treasurer then we have executive members seven represented representative of state olympic association and 12 representatives of national sports federation so in the i 
uh, Indian Olympic Association 1942 there is a picture of those gentlemen who are there in the association in the year 1942 so what are the main objectives of Indian Olympic Association number one implement rules and regulations so all the Olympic rules and regulations must be known and must be followed to implement uh, develop Olympic movement promote the games obviously third armature status of player to confirm non profession professional status of competitors for from India for international competition now in the Olympic games the thing is only amateurs are allowed professionals are not allowed like uh, after a person becomes uh, very advanced uh, they can participate in the sporting events or for money for big uh, for prize money and all they need to move on to the professional realms like in boxing uh, earlier Vijender Singh he used to represent our country for the Olympics but now he has moved on to the professional and that is why he can't represent India uh, in the Olympic Games anymore because he now uh, plays professionally so there is a difference in that now uh, develop coordination with National Sports Federation, development of healthy citizens, disciplinary action for any kind of unwanted activity, recognition, women's sports to develop and promote women's sports, eligibility, anti-doping guidelines that means uh, no steroids or any kind of illegal substance should be used by athletes for uh, advantage in the games and sporting events promotion of sports to develop and promote sports and games throughout the country now next let us talk about some awards so mainly there are three topmost awards the Tronacharya award Arjuna award and Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna award in the field of games and sports let's talk about Dronacharya award it was instituted in the year 1985 and it is one of the highest honors given to coaches okay coach is eligible for dronacharya award whose players have achieved top position in the olympic games next one arjuna award the next award is arjuna award you can see the statue of arjuna that is given to the uh, victors so Arjuna award is the award given to athletes for excellence uh, shown in Olympic Games, Asian Games, Commonwealth Games or any of these games if they have won gold, silver or bronze they become eligible to get the Arjuna award next one Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award again it's the highest uh, sportsman award in our country the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award and it is uh, named after late Prime Minister former Prime Minister of our country and there is a cash prize also of 7.5 lakhs given to the uh, win, uh, given to the awardee whoever gets the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna award so who are who are uh, eligible those who have got gold silver bronze in any Olympic games Asian games uh, any kind of cricket events also they are eligible for getting the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna award which is the highest sportsman award in our country now organization setup of CBSC sports and Chacha Nehru sport award so CBSC our, uh, the CBSC central board of secondary education also organizes inter school sports competition 
for which you are you all athletes are eligible and uh, if you are interested you may also participate in this sports competition uh, it was organized for nearly 9000 independent category of affiliated schools so about 9000 affiliated schools participate uh, at the cluster zonal and national level then finally after going through the local district state then they move on to the national level also okay so what is the aim so to organize inter school competition uh to increase the standard of sports to organize orientation uh, refresher and training program develop sportsmanship promote athletic ethical values in athletes to encourage other sport activity now we talk about chacha nehru sports award which is given to the winner of the uh, inter school sports competition so primary goal is to recognize and build up extraordinary talent among students studying in class 8 onwards in sports and games in this way sports activities at the school level and support the importance of mental and physical health now scholarship can also be given you can also get scholarship okay cbsc awards 50 scholarships each year at the rate of 500 per month to recognize sports talent in class 9 9 to 12 9 10 11 12 students are eligible to get scholarship and currently there are 24 disciplines means 24 games are there in which if you excel and if you have got any award you will get the cbsc scholarship also now uh eligibility what is the eligibility student must be indian should be studying in india and uh, should not be in receipt of any scholarship for the same or similar purpose so you should not be sponsored by any company or any other kind of sponsorship then uh, that winner student from uh, classes of 9 to 12 may get the scholarship selection of the scholar core committee is there and th- that committee will select and identify before february 28 of each academic year so before february 28 uh, obviously the forms have to be filled and uh, application needs to be given from which the committee will decide who are eligible to get the scholarship with this finally we uh, end finally we end today's lesson it was a quite a long chapter but still we have covered the olympic movement and now your task and assignment will be to complete the question answers which are given okay question answers you will do by yourself and uh, if you have any problem you may call me up or you may comment below and i will help you in answering the questions thank you students stay fit stay healthy uh, make sure you are getting hydrated about 11 to 12 glasses of water daily you should drink to uh, prevent dehydration and try to have salad with each meal okay uh, thank you for now join us for more